Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use a form to create a rubric for your class. I've got some examples already built in here, so let's go through them. First, you always want to get their name or collect their email addresses. Um, I also have selected to make this a quiz so that I can assign points when needed. Okay, so the first type of question that I've selected is checkbox. For this rubric, I've just selected the aspects that I'm looking for, like a checklist type rubric. Um, so the checkboxes are perfect for a checklist rubric. And I've awarded points here, five points total. And of course you can provide answer feedback and you would want all five checked off in order to get all five points. However, this would not give partial credit. So you need to be careful if you're doing that. Here we have another type of checklist rubric where it's the checkbox grid. You've got the same elements that you're looking to check off. And here you can have the student actually meet with you one on one and check off what they think. And you can check off what you think they've accomplished and then points can be awarded that way. We have a multiple choice grid where you have um, you can do like a holistic rubric with this and this is about a presentation. And so we've got different aspects that we'd be looking for for the speaker in the presentation. And we've got different point values here that would replace the points here. So you would not have to make it a quiz for this one. If you're not going to assign points this way and you're going to use numbers to assign the points in your rubric, then you don't need to make it a quiz. So you'll see that the point values are now gone and my answer key option is now gone, but we could preview this to see what it looks like in a minute. Okay. Now here we have um, a drop down menu. Okay. So it's got points assigned to each piece of analysis for checking off what they've done. So let's say that we're doing um, a rubric for an essay and I'm just looking at the comprehension of the text, then my drop down would look like this, five, four, three, two, one. And that would be the points that they would be awarded if I'm going through their essay. Same here with the drop down, just a different piece of the essay that I'm looking for. So you could do several of these just looking at different parts of the essay and then return the whole rubric back to the student. Okay, now here, let's say I already have a rubric built that I really like, and I don't want to reinvent anything. I can actually insert an image here by clicking this and pull up a an image from my computer from a rubric that I've already created and upload it to the form directly so that I don't have to recreate it. And then I can use drop down to award the points matching this rubric. And here's an example without the words beginning, developing, accomplished, and exemplary attached. So I would include those words next to the point values. So we're going to preview this just so you can see what it looks like from the student perspective. So did I do this? Did I do that? Yes, they completed all of that. Now this would be if I'm meeting with the student and they think they've done this and I will go back after I've met with them and I will say, yes, they did do these things. Okay. And then you would return that feedback whenever you're finished. Um, here we have the holistic presentation rubric. So here is exactly what they would see. Okay. Did the presenter do all of these things and I would award it a four. One, maybe that's something they need to improve on. Five, 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 five. You just need to remember that the space of this is not very large across the width. So you'll need to remember what the numbers are at the top, one through five. And here we've got essay. Okay, so they definitely showed a thoughtful understanding of the text. So I would just use a drop down. And here it is again with a different 
part of the rubric about this essay, Textual Evidence, this time. Here we have an image that we've uploaded, another drop-down menu. I'd say that's a four if I'm looking at a student work. And then here it is without the settings at the top already labeled. So let's say they're just beginning with their research. And then you would submit it and you would, after you submit and get the response, you could send that to the student directly.